Hello. So this week's experiment is on centripetal force and acceleration. So your setup looks like this. On the rotating platform here, you have this block that has side A and B. Inside here, you have a magnet that have different strength. And then you have the accelerating mass that has a piece of metal on this side. So our goal is to calculate the breakaway force between this piece accelerate between this accelerating mass and the magnet here. Your TA will tell you which side of the magnet you're going to use, either A or B. Furthermore, you have this stopper here. It will stop this accelerating mass flying away when the rotating platform is rotating. Make sure this is tightened down. We don't want this uh, accelerating mass to fly around and hurt students in the lab. So then furthermore, here you have a sensing wheel that is divided into 30 equal parts. So the distance between each of these holes in a sensing wheel is equal to delta x. So in order to calculate the distance between each of these holes, you will need to know the radius of your trajectory that your TA will provide. And then you will know that for the full circle, the length of the trajectory is 2pr. And then you're going to divide that length by 30 to get a distance between these two holes. We use a photo gate here to collect the data. And then photo gate is connected to a science workshop that is connected to the computer. So then you can observe your data using the data studio. You're familiar with data studio from previous experiments. Further, this sensing wheel is connected through thread that goes across this pulley and then on the end of this thread, you have a hanging mass of 150 grams on the mass hanger. This mass here is constant and should not be changed during the experiment. Okay, lastly, on the table, you have the information sheet with a couple of pictures of how your setup looks like. Then you are given a mass of the accelerated block. You're given mass M1 and M2 that you will add to the accelerating block and then you're given values for the A side of the magnet and B side of the magnet. So before I show you how to collect the data, the important information about safety, this rotating platform is going to spin really fast. So you need to make sure that you don't have your face or your arms close to it. We don't want you to get hurt or to hurt someone else. As I probably mentioned before, your TA will let you know which side of the magnet you're going to use and also which values for the radius of trajectory you're going to use. So to set on the uh, desired radius, you're going to loose this screw here. And then let's say your TA told you to use radius of 12 centimeters. You're going to align this line here on the accelerating mass with 12 centimeters. And then you're going to tighten this screw. Once you tighten this screw, make sure that accelerating mass and the magnets are aligned. Okay, so the next step, first you're going to add 50 grams to the accelerating mass here. And then you're going to wind up the falling mass. to this point here. Make sure again that these two are aligned nicely. So before you start recording data, you need to log into the student account and open experiment on centripetal force and acceleration. Then on three, you're going to let this go and start recording data. Once this mass breaks away from the magnet, you will wait for the falling mass to reach the floor and then to stop. And then you will stop recording the data. So let's try. One, two, three, 
start. As you can see, this is rotating really fast. And now you're going to stop recording the data. So then you're going to repeat this five times for this mass and this particular radius. Then you're going to add additional 20 grams. So your total added mass is 70 grams. And then your total accelerated mass is 70 grams plus the mass of accelerated block. You're going to do the same thing, five times readings of the velocity as a, as a function of time for this radius and this mass. Then you're going to change to the second radius and repeat the same procedure. In the following video, I am going to show you how to analyze the data. Basic idea here is we are going to record the velocity as a function of time. And then once this accelerated mass breaks away from the magnet, you're going to see a kink in your data. Then you're going to find a value for the velocity at which this magnetic force is broken and record it in your laboratory manual. I will talk more about this in the following video when I record the screen of the computer on the data analysis.